Hi there, Bon Crowder here with Math4.com, math is not a four letter word, talking about the Cuisinaire rods. So I bought these, and you'll see them right here. They, I bought these with the idea that I could do abstract algebra, a little bit of regular algebra, I'll explore this nifty little book, see what happens, and they're so pretty, and they just, I mean, how can you not buy something this colorful? So I bought this set, and I'm really excited about it, and as I started playing with them, I noticed something kind of fun that you can do because they are measured in centimeters. So the one, this, the little tiny single white guy, this little white guy is one centimeter. I don't know if that's according to some standard, but um, I noticed that and I measured it. So, and it fits this grid that is a one centimeter white whiteboard or dry erase board, white erase, wet erase board, graph paper. So you'll notice that they'll each fit, which is really quite cool. So you can get some really interesting, colorful things going on here. So I started playing, and then I thought, you know what, we could actually create so this, in and of itself, is entertaining and starts to build some appreciation and interest in graphing. Then I thought, I remember those nifty little games where they would give us a, a sheet of coordinate pairs and say, okay, with those coordinate pairs, it, you create your own sort of connect the dots. I thought, okay, well, we could do that. And I thought, I started building something and thought, well, why don't we have the students create that? Because these are so pretty. So I, I started building a tree and then I stopped so I could record it. So I'm going to build the tree so you, you can give, give the set or a number of sets, however, however many you have. I have the, the home version, I think and ask them to build something. And so again, I started with the tree because I saw two different greens. And then of course we can have some little white pieces and if we wanna add apples, we can have an apple tree. So the idea behind this would be after they build it, they can create the puzzle to share with someone else by writing down the coordinate pairs for the bottom left hand corner of each rod. So this is kind of a, an abstract tree. Maybe I can fill in. Oh, squeeze. So I think I'm also getting some, uh, what is that called, dexterity, where you have your fingers doing things that they're supposed to be doing. Where's my apples? My apple tree is sort of lacking. I have four green ones. Where's the other green one? Okay, there we go. Fit him. So I have apples, and now notice too, they have to play some, some shove around and fit in. So do they, do they just squeeze them all together? Oops, because that doesn't quite work. Fill in with some white ones. Are we still on? Yes. And so on. I have another green one down here. So you build a Cuisinaire tree, and you also notice too that these green ones are three centimeters, and if I do something like this, I have just, oh maybe I can move my trunk down to fit this guy in, oops, I 
move this trunk up. I'm a little catty corner, but you know, trees are like that. They're not straight. So I've just built a Cuisinaire tree. <laughs> And there's no telling what kids will come up with. I went to tree, whatever. So then I would take the bottom left corner or the bottom right corner or the top right, whatever, as long as they're all the same. Because if they're not all the same, you don't get the... You can't identify. You've got to, you need a standard. So then you look at the bottom left corner. Apparently I'm running on low battery here bottom left corner for each and then I can start plucking these away so I have the white at one negative one Is that right? one negative one Then I can pluck him away and then I have light green light green and green light green is one zero And there's a dark green at one, one, two, three. Uh, again, a little bit of dexterity and making sure things are not getting too off kilter here as we pull these out. This dark green is one, two, negative one, two, three. Rid of him. Light green at one, two, three, negative three. And you can see that we continue. <laughs> there we have it. We have the full graph of a tree as a Cuisinaire tree. I'm Vaughn Crowder reminding you that math is not a four-letter word. Mm -hmm.